I see dead people. What? Where? That's the most quoted line in Sixth Sense. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So you don't really see any dead people? Do you? No, you're safe. Okay, good. So this movie is about dead people? Ghosts? Yeah, pretty much. It's about a little boy who sees dead people. A little boy? And people like this movie? Oh, they love it, and there's a fun twist to it, too. Okay, tell us about the movie, then. Well, there's a little boy, Cole, who isn't quite like any other little boy. It's just him and his mom. His parents got divorced, but you kind of have a sense Cole just misses him. Only because Cole likes to carry things around that was his dad's that he left behind. But Cole's going through some stuff, and because of that, the child psychiatrist, played by Bruce Willis, kind of helps him along, kind of sticks with him, and tries to figure out ways to help him through all of this that he's going through. Oh. Well, Cole tells him his secret. That's when he really tries to figure out how to help him. He tries to figure out why he sees them. And do they? Once they talk this through, Cole actually approaches them, tries to figure out what exactly they want from him. And it always seems like one last message. They're around for one last thing. And because they know Cole can see them, they ask him for help. That's why they are always drawn to him, because they're looking for someone to help them. That does sound good. I think I might want to watch it. Yeah, it's actually really good. And the twist of it, it makes it so much fun towards the end, which I'm not going to say anything about, because if you know the twist, you know I can't really say anything without giving it away. And if you haven't seen this movie before, you don't want me to give you any hints. You just don't. But I think what I loved about re-watching this movie is it was a DVD version. And the DVD version that I have is actually kind of like, I don't know if it's the first time it came out. You know, it wasn't like remastered or anything like that. Because it felt so nostalgic to see this thing pop up before the movie even started, before I even got to the menu. And if you know, if you were around when this movie came out, you probably know what I'm talking about. But in case you forgot, or in case you want to feel a little nostalgic like I did, this is what plays before the DVD. Coming soon on video and DVD. It just brought so many memories to me. I love that. And I know it doesn't really have anything to do with the movie itself, but that was like a bonus to see that again, because it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Not like I forgot about it. Not like I forgot what happened during it. But I just wanted kind of a rewatch. I'm kind of really glad I did, because I forgot how much I liked it. I knew I always liked it. But I just wanted to watch a good Bruce Willis movie. And this one is always one of the top ones I think of when I think of him. So if you like ghost movies, I guarantee you'll love this. And you probably have seen a thousand memes on it already. If you've never seen the movie, the memes probably have spoiled it for you. I don't want to be responsible for doing that. So I'm going to keep quiet and I'll let you discover them on your own if you really want it spoiled before you watch it if you have no idea what I'm talking about but it's worth it it's worth watching even knowing the story it's worth watching it's fun it's a fun ghost movie Cole is played by Haley Joel Osment Haley Joel Osment has been in other things in other really good movies but this is my all-time favorite. I think for both him and Bruce Willis, this movie is my favorite of both of theirs. And it kind of makes me wonder how many kids actually go through with this. Because I know some people 
some children are known to kind of be able to sense things. They say that every child is kind of open to that. Like, maybe that's what an imaginary friend is. And I think that's why I love this movie so much, because it kind of opens the door to that. It kind of, like, shines a light on the fact that there's this little boy who sees them everywhere, who sees spirits everywhere. Maybe all little kids are like that. And they just call them imaginary friends and parents just go with it because they don't know what they're actually seeing. I kind of like that. Maybe that's why this was one of my favorite movies. If you haven't watched it, it deserves at least one watch. If you like any kind of ghost story, this is a good one to dive into. It's a good year-round movie, I think. I mean, obviously every ghost movie people will say, yeah, save it for Halloween. But I think this is a good year-round movie. I mean, I just watched it. And it's April, so, you know. I feel like I said that about a movie last year that I claimed it was an all-year-round movie. Basically, I watch scary movies all year round. I think everyone else should, too. But watch this one. If you have, and you know the twist I'm talking about, and you want to talk about it, say it in the comments. If you don't know the twist, don't want anything to do with it, don't look at the comments. But if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!